How do you decide which YOLO model fits your use case? That's a question every developer faces when starting out with object detection. Do you go for the fastest model or the one with the best accuracy? The truth is, every YOLO version and size, like nano, small, medium, or large, has its own balance between speed and detection quality. Even between versions like YOLO V8 and YOLO V11, performance and efficiency can vary a lot. In this video, we'll break down those differences with side-by-side -side comparisons so you can actually see how each model performs in real scenarios. By the end, you'll know exactly which YOLO model fulfills your specific need. So now it's time to see the YOLO model comparison to our notebook. I have created this notebook where you can create create or see the side by side comparison of different YOLO model. So first of all, you have to import some classes. Then this class YOLO comparator I have created where you can uh, add your add your own YOLO model which you want to compare, and it will generate a side to side comparison and. Uh, visuals and graph for the comparison result so for this tutorial i am going to use just the detection model you can also check this notebook to compare different segmentation model and pose model so let's start by running this now first we start by comparing the various yolo v8 models like a10, 8s, 8m and 8 and the sample video I am choosing is this simple traffic video of cars, bikes and other trucks. So let's see what happened. As you can see our comparison class has started and we started downloading our various YOLO V810 uh, models. So 8n, 8s, 8m. So now let's start the comparison. I am using only maximum 200 frame for my comparison result. So our result has been shown. Uh, you, so we have taken the baseline model YOLO 8 and, and see what is their result comparison with different models like 8S is faster. Oh, it's a new development like the S model is faster than the N model whereas S model is little bit heavier but it's still faster. It's a positive point but 8M and 8L are slower but these models are very highly accurate model like they do lots of object detection in a single frame than this 8n or 8s model so that's why they are heavier but we are compa comparing on it on the basis of speed means how much speed infinite speed is there so 8s is the clear champion let's see the result so here is your Let's see in the full screen. So as you can see, A10 for the same frame, uh, A10 is taking 28.3 millisecond, whereas A10 is taking 18.6 millisecond, and A10s is taking 21.4 millisecond. But it's object detecting 21 object. It is detecting 22 objects. Here, A10 is detecting 21 object, and the lowest A10 is detecting 16 object. Let's see for another use case. Oh, here is the detection is wrong. So, and as you can see, it is detecting more objects. If you see the number of labels are more here than 8n. So, it's re detecting two times. There is some wrong detection. You can see this video to 
your own and compare how well 8L performs to 8N but in speed 8S is winning the uh, race here so let's here you can see 8N has massively uh, not detected these cars but 8L has detected it okay. so let's get to our next model detection of yolo v11 so we are comparing all the yolo v v11 uh, detection models n s m l so let's start similarly all the models are getting downloaded now processing video is happening so the result are here so we have taken the base model yolo 11n uh, so all the other models are slower than it the slowest is l but we know it's the heaviest model and it has detected lots of objects more than this 11n model so let's see in our folder how it's performed Oh, I forgot to tell you, it also create graphs like for our previous result. You can see the uh, our inference is lowest for 8s and the highest for 8l. So that's how the FPS is. It's lowest for 8l and highest for 8s. So here I will show you for the current one now. So here it is our. YOLO 11 different model comparison so as you can see it is rated at 20 object here inference is the lowest here in the lowest inference it's detecting more and more objects and the number of objects are more here detected here massive here it has failed to detect massively amount of objects and it this model also so in detect number of detection 8m and 8 uh, 11m and 11l are better than n, n series and s series model so but in speed these are more as you can see the 11l is taking 34.6 millisecond whereas 11m is taking 29.9 millisecond which is a lot whereas n series is taking only 20 millisecond and s series is taking only 24.7 millisecond so let's see the graph so this is the graph so the lowest inference is rate is of 11n and then by uh, 11s so that's how its frame rate are higher here so but the that same is the opposite for 11 and but we know it's the more heavier model and the number of objects are detected here is more so if it's based on your requirement what kind of model you want if you want sp infinite speed you will go for n and s series but if you want uh, detection like more object detection you will go for m and l so you should uh, target these two model so s and m to cut the uh, edge cases of both uh, both possibility so let's see our next comparison we are comparing the yolo 8n and yolo 11n so let's see So based on our comparison, YOLO 11 is 5.2 slower than the baseline, which is 8. And it's a new 
thing to know. Let's see uh, how it performs. Uh, let's see the video result. So here is the video result. So as you can see, it's uh, on a random frame. I'm testing YOLO 11 is detecting 16 objects, whereas 810 is detecting 19 objects with a faster speed of 19 milliseconds and your 11 speed is uh, higher and 22 milliseconds so so it's detecting same amount of ob objects so we can't say it is more uh, detecting more objects but it's taking a lot of time here you can see i am using just random frames it's taking me 17 milliseconds and 17 milliseconds go here but it's detecting two more objects here so i think a10 is better than 11 and here let's see our comparison for the next one 8l and 11l so let's start our process happy things So the result are here 11. Oh, so here 11L is faster than 8L. This is new 3.9 percent faster. And let's see the results. It's the L model. So let's see the graph first. As you can see. If you zoom it, it's taking around 31.6 milliseconds in inference, whereas ATL is taking 30.3 and its frame rate is also higher. So ATL is the clear winner here. So let's start see the video. So it's detecting ATL is detecting faster. 27 millisecond, 30 millisecond, and objects are sometimes higher. So, in the scenario of higher model like L series, 11L is better than 8L. But in lower lower models like N series, 810 is better than 11N. So, as we can see here, now. With this, we have completed our uh, Yolo comparison on Titex, and you can also use the notebook to compare it on the segmentation model, pose model, or add more feature uh, tasks like OBB and classify to see your comparison side by side. If you'd like to explore practical resources and hands on examples, we've created a dedicated GitHub repository. It's filled with cookbooks covering computer vision, AI agents, and more. Link is in description.